Hey, my name is Jeremy Blum. I'm one of three people that developed Hack the Pop Shop, uh, the winning entry for the first ever Cornell Pop Shop Hackathon competition. Basically, we turned the whiteboard in the Pop Shop co-working space into a control mechanism for the lights and music that plays in the Pop Shop. So we designed this control system and using a camera, a few, uh, a few computers, some neat networking technology, uh, light bulbs, relays, Arduinos, etc. We've kind of upgraded the whole pop shop to be automated just through moving things around on the table. So the control panel consists of a number of 3D printed buttons that I printed out on my MakerBot replicator. So there's the skip button, the play pause button, and the volume control. Hey, I'm Jason Wright. I worked on the image processing and MATLAB programming component of this project. So uh, the way in which our system gets images is it pulls it over a local area network from an access network cam which we have mounted to the wall. We have a MATLAB script that pulls in images from that every second or so. It then runs a number of image processing algorithms to determine the appropriate control mechanisms uh, to control the lights and the sound. So it will determine whether or not the light should be on or off, which is then sent over serial to the Arduino. And the music controls are sent over a TCP IP network connection to the other computer in the setup. Hi, I'm Sam Soninsky. I'm the third team member on the Hack the Pop Shop hack for the first ever Pop Shop Hackathon and I built the server and the code to control all the sound in the pop shop and how that works is the MATLAB controller reads what's going on, sends control commands to my server over TCP IP. I process those commands and then send them out to the various audio components to adjust the volume levels, pause and play, and find new tracks. Volume slider adjusts the volume. Remove the play button to pause and put it back to play. Skip button, you remove, wait for a second, and then the system waits for the next time it's placed to trigger the next track. So just like the music, you can control the lights with the control panel also. So swipe the pad off and the lights will go off. Swipe the pad back on and the lights will turn back on. In the pop shop, we all work on entrepreneurial ventures. Sometimes things don't go according to plan and we need a reminder of what to do next. So we hit the panic button. It's going to be okay. 